What's up guys? Got something pretty cool to show you guys today. We are in Belvedere, Illinois, and we are at the NDK Crystal um, plant that blew up in 2009. So we're just going to do a quick walk around of the building. They obviously don't want anyone too close. They got, they got this barbed wire here. But I just thought I would show you guys this really quick. Um, this place grew quartz crystal inside six of uh, the vessels. You can see there's like vessels inside. You can see um, number four right there. And they grew crystal inside those. And what happened in 2009 is um, like one of them started to crack. There was some cracking. And um, they were told that they weren't supposed to be operating them. They shouldn't be. And uh, in 2009, pressure vessel 2 ex exploded, and uh, it killed a truck driver over, over there at the Belvedere Oasis gas station. This was 2009, as I said. I'm just going to take a quick look at the damage. I do kind of wish we could go in here, but we can't. Um, it's probably not safe. You guys can see the extensive damage inside there. I guess this is the loading dock back there. As you guys can see, that this place is completely... This, this place has been shut down since 2009. It's just been sitting like this. All that's supposed to be covered up. It's not supposed to be open like that. But they're really doing their best to ensure that no one gets in here. Authorized personnel only. We're going to go take a walk around this way. But as, as you guys can see, there's nothing going on here at all whatsoever. Obviously, because the, like I said, this place has been shut down since 2009 because of the explosion. Um, and I, I will post a video to the, uh, I, I will post a link to the video of the story of it. Over there, I think is one of the vessels, as you guys can see, like, number three, uh, got hit too, so that's why it's out there. But, it's a real strange story here, I'll have to tell you guys. Um, very strange place. Um, supposedly, this company is, like, based out of, uh, Japan. NDK. Got a little master lock here protecting this. You could technically, if you are small enough, you could climb through there. Nah, probably not. Um, you guys can see this place does have spectral or classic fire alarms. I can't see any of them right up there, um, but they do have some spectral alert classics in there. This is a better view. As we walk over this way, we can get a better view of uh, this. Again, all, all this is supposed to be covered up by those things there. That Those those window things and are supposed to be all around, but see all the pressure vessels inside there, which have obviously been shut down. Pressure vessel 4, pressure vessel 3, pressure vessel... I think there was 8. Yeah, there's 8 right there. damage here is obviously quite extensive. We walk around this way, we can get a full view of the building. That's the, the, the gas station where the truck driver was killed in 2009 because of the explosion. Yeah. Real interesting store here. As we come over toward this side of the building, you guys can see the logo. See, NDK Crystal, Belvedere. There you guys can see all the pressure vessels where they grew the where they uh, where they grew the synthetic quartz crystal. I'm not sure that these are part of the pressure vessels here. They could have been. I think that's one of the pressure vessels right there. That could be number two that blew up. But, real interesting. I'm not going to walk too far. We have to get back to our car pretty soon, get back on the road to head home. But, now, I haven't, over, I haven't been to this area. That's the I-90 tollway right there. So, there's actually a car parked here now. That's kind of the, I, I, I wonder, you know, there is a car park there, so I, I wonder if the, the office part of it is still open or something. But, yeah, real interesting. It's, it's, it's a shame, too, that companies 
like this, just, you know, they refuse to keep basic, you know, like maintenance on these buildings, you know, to ensure that they don't blow up like what happened in 2009, so, um, somewhere, see if I can zoom in up there, see what, uh, I'm gonna try to get some, get some detailed footage up there. Be cool if I could kind of go up there, but obviously we can't, we got barbed wire here, but, you know, and I, that wouldn't be safe at this point. This thing is, you know, since they haven't operated this since 2009, this is very ugly. I kind of wish they would just tear this thing down, to be honest. Um, you know, it, it's really not that pretty, I'll tell you that. Yo, let's get, uh, camera's out of focus, there we go. Can't see any of the fire alarms up in there. But if you go on all the way to the other side of the building. Let's uh, walk back around this way. Uh, again, that is the gas station where the truck driver got killed. Um, you know, and as you guys can see, co compared to the rest of this, they actually have been maintaining this property because the grass is cut. I mean, obviously they're, they're doing this because if they, they didn't maintain it, then the, the, the grass would be like that behind the fence. So obviously they've been keeping this area here um, well, uh, you know, protected. Got some, something here. I'm not sure what this is. That's firmly on the ground. Some kind of sandbags. I'm not sure that's sand in there or whatever. I think those are probably pieces of the fence, but real interesting. Got some lights up there. You can see the stair. Excuse me. You can see the stairwells. And like I said, over there is the loading dock. Um. Yeah, if, yeah, like I said, if you come to a certain angle, you, you can actually see the fire alarms up there, which a lot of you guys probably wouldn't care about, but for all you fire alarm enthusiasts, like me, there are spectral or classic horn strobes up there. If you come to this side, uh, this is where you can see them. There you go, you guys can see, um... There one, yeah, like that, that that one got crushed, but up there you can see, let's get through, you guys can see that, but they have spectral or classic horn strokes. Uh, I don't think I'm aiming the camera at the right part. I can't see that well through the camera. Yeah, spectral or classic horn strokes and uh, probably um, some BG-12 pulsations up there, that makes sense. Got a security camera there, those probably are dysfunctional. I'm gonna go take a look at the, the loading dock over here real quick. And this part is completely untouched. Oh, I got a grill right here. <laughs> Probably doesn't work too well now. Strange. It's probably used by employees or something, I don't know. Got a system sensor bell right there, I'm guessing. Yep, system sensor outdoor bell. Nah, I can't reach it, but security camera, real interesting place here. As you can see the damage in the side there. Big loading dock door right there. Okay, all right, I'm almost done. Uh, dumpsters, not that much to see. Oh my gosh, I think, I, I, I bet this is, this is crystal right here. I bet the, 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 this is the crystal that they were growing. I'll, I'll have to take some of this. This, this is probably the, some of the crystal that they were growing. Okay, well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And um, if, if, if you guys would like to come down here sometimes, it's a really cool place to kind of explore. And uh, I hope that someday they will either safely reopen this or they will just tear this place down because it is ugly. It is as ugly as heck. So thank you guys for watching, and that's it.